1973, I had a near-death experience. You know, when you die, but you come back. So this uh, has made a big um, effect in my life. Oh, and I absolutely. realized that everything is energy and that the only thing that really matters is how much love we do, what we have to do. So anyway, when I was in the States, I start to do a lot of research, the things I didn't know at that time, and uh, on, mainly on energy. I start at one point hearing a music in my head. I still hear the same music, and I'm not a musician, so I was wondering, how come I hear a music? You know, normally musicians will hear because they need to produce a tune. Because I start hearing that music, I start to do research on sound and music. And I got to know people that were working on frequencies, sound for healing. And when I learned about this, it was like, yes, it's why I came here to do. It's just, um, you know, in the universe, everything has a frequency. Right. Everything has a number. And our body, like anything, the chair, the you know, the carpet, everything has a frequency. And if we happen to have that frequency and we play it, we play the frequency, it reminds the cells of their blueprint. It reminds the cells of their ideal frequency. And they don't necessarily, let's say, an organ like the liver is supposed to be here, but the frequency has been lower because of toxicity or emotion. So when you play the frequency that is here, gradually the liver will go up and up until it gets to that place of remembering and being what it's supposed to be. So it's kind of an entrainment. You know, the frequency entrain the body and the mind and the spirit to just reattune to the frequency that is the best. To remember who you were. That's it. So gradually we just come back to our true being, really. And do and do most people have frequencies close to each other or are they do they vary a lot or you know, an eye to be a eye it need to be a certain frequency, extremely precise. But if the eye has been not is not perfect it will change its frequency. But the perfect eye, if your eye is perfect and your eye is perfect, it's the same frequency. If the liver is perfect and the liver is perfect, it's the same. But if it is not perfect, then it becomes toxic and it loses its energy. So almost every part of your, of your body is, is at a different frequency? Absolutely. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. So when, let's say, I have a frequency for the bones. So a bone that is perfect has always the same frequency. But then if it loses density, if it has other problems, it's not the same. So by playing the frequency that it's supposed to be, then you just entrain it and come back to what, mm -hmm. it's, what it is. Wow. Isn't that amazing? Now I have clients probably all over the world. Yeah. And it's mainly what people get good results and then they share it with their friends.